Hello, this is Zoe from No Safer Place and it is week one of the Zoella Book Club. Now, a lot of you asked for this before I'd even said I was going to review it. So, the first book that I've chosen to review is Lying About Last Summer by Sue Warman. Now, this book is slightly different to any book that I've read in the Zoella Book Club from the previous bundle, but it was just as brilliant and definitely a 5 out of 5 from me, as always. The story focuses on Skye and she has just witnessed the death of her big sister. Her big sister was murdered. Skye and her sister were really close and she completely idolised Louisa so she wasn't coping very well. So her parents decided to send her to a camp for bereaved teens aged 15 to 16 and they do all kinds of activities like archery, zip wiring, kayaking, rafting and it's kind of just to take their minds off it and maybe if they want to share their experiences with other people in the same situation. But Skye really struggles to open up to anyone and struggles with a lot of the activities due to how Louisa had died. Obviously I can't tell you how because I really don't want to give any spoilers away but a lot of the activities brought back memories of her sister's death. She makes a few new friends at camp but then she starts to get messages from Louisa using their private password protected group chat which obviously is a bit suspicious for Sky. So Sky can trust no one because the person that's doing it is telling her what she's wearing and what she's doing so she thinks that someone is stalking her so she thinks that it must be someone from the camp. But she literally can trust no one. Throughout the story you find out a lot more about Louisa and she is definitely not as innocent as she first seems. And you're just thinking, will Sky find out who's messaging her? Or is there something a lot more sinister going on? <laughs> it explores the themes of death and bereavement in a very realistic and sad way. It really is moving and you really feel like the character has lost someone. It touches on mental health and you really are able to connect to each character so well. I read this book in one sitting. It is absolutely brilliant. It is so fast paced and I just, I couldn't put it down. It was amazing. Now, as always with the Zola Book Club, I'm going to read my favourite quotes from the book. So, the first one is on page 13. And this is about photos when someone dies. When somebody dies, you view photos of them in a different way. You want a reminder of how they looked, but you also search for hidden truths in their eyes, answers to questions you can no longer ask them. I just found that really sad and it almost made me well up when I read it for the first time. It was just such a lovely quote. Now the second one is on page 55 and it is what a character called Joe says. You should have got back in the boat, says Joe. You know, like getting back on a horse. Without fear, there is no courage. Now the bit after it says, I roll my eyes, spare me the inspirational quotes, but I thought it was an inspirational quote, I really loved it. <laughs> but yes, this book is amazing and definitely a must read for this autumn, so make sure you check it out. So leave me comments below of what you would like to me to review next week. I'm pretty sure it's going to be Frozen Charlotte though, unless you always say otherwise, because I have finished it and it is amazing. So give me a thumbs up, give me a like. Thank you all for watching and I'll see you all again soon. Thank you. Bye.